Our Orlando's Rock Station, the Lynch and Taco Morning Show. It is time to tech it out. Some news from technology to share with you. Brought to you by JR's Trip and Thursday underway. Staycation you could win right now at the JRR Instagram page. Staycation to a hammock beach resort in Palm Coast. If you're not following us on Instagram, it's at 1011 WJRR. All right, now that we're several days displaced from the crowd strike outage that caused the, uh, well, little hiccup God. internationally uh, around, you know, all sorts of different industry business down to user level. Uh, some of the losses are now starting to be calculated. Insured losses. Companies that had this type of insurance to guard against something like this happening could reach $1.5 billion Billion. in claims. Wow. Meanwhile, CrowdStrike apparently has sent out, uh, you know, kind of a we're sorry we goofed up type email to some of its clients offering uh, partners $10 Uber Eats gift cards as an apology. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to read from, from the email that went out to some of these partners. This is this is good stuff, man. Oh, I see you posted something about a JR Facebook page. Yeah. We recognize the additional work that the July 19th incident has caused, and for that we send our heartfelt thanks and apologies for the inconvenience. Uh, and a ten dollar Uber to, card. And then it goes into some corporate speak stuff. To express our gratitude, your next cup of coffee or late night snack is on us. Access your Uber Eats credit by using the attached code. <laughs> wow. Now, uh, to be fair, other companies have screwed up, causing disastrous uh, failures on their networks. Remember the AT and T screw up earlier in the year? Yep. Ironically, uh, the FCC has now issued a report on its findings after looking into that massive network failure. Basically saying that the communications behemoth failed to test the uh, changes in the update that they implemented that caused, you know, uh, over 92 million phone calls, including 25,000 attempts to reach 911 to fail back in February. Remember that? I mean, that was like... Everybody that that was involved in that is like, I remember trying to order something to eat, and I go, oh, I don't have yeah. a phone that works. FCC criticized AT&T for uh, not following best practices, that network changes must be thoroughly tested, reviewed, and approved before implementation. It took over 12 hours for AT&T to fully restore its service as a result of that. What's this button do? Whoops. <laughs> You know, Google had uh, made some, scored some publicity points with users when they announced that they had uh, were going to uh, kill off the practice of cookies tracking users. Mm-hmm. Well, they no longer are going to implement that. They've uh, decided to cancel the plan, and we'll continue with uh, the cookies that now you know are responsible for advertisers pinpointing us and our preferences and sites we visit and products we use and topics we're interested in. Uh, They were going to come up, Google had this plan to come up with something rather than giving individual user IDs to these advertisers to putting users in like groups that you would then receive targeted advertising. Say you're into sailing or fishing or whatever, you know, you, that would just, you would, be dumped into a group of folks like that and these advertisers go oh here's the bucket of people who you know are into whatever no cookies remain so of course privacy concerns have always been the major situation with that i accepted some cookies this morning the uh nba i had this back in sports but this is uh this is big news the nba rejected warner brother discovery's matching rights claim to keep uh nba uh broadcast rights beyond 2425 and uh, those will now go to Amazon. Amazon had uh, made the bid to take over uh, Warner Brother Discovery. This is the TNT Turner networks that have carried NBA action for years and years and years. Mm-hmm. Uh, that won't be the case after the next season when Amazon will uh, pick up those rights. 
Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery is claiming they had uh, the right to match, and they did. NBA is, uh, you know, disputing that what they came up with was an actual true match and decided to go ahead with the Amazon bid. Um, in addition with deals with Comcast and Disney moving forward. So we'll see if that ends up in court. It sounds like it might. Airline industry news, Southwest Airlines is going to get rid of open seating. Really? Yeah, that's, of course, was one of the first airlines to do that. You know, the, you, know you, you board in your groups and you sit wherever the hell you want. And uh, after uh, much criticism from uh, investors... And also uh, looking at what's going on in reality with their competition and talking to their customers, they say that 80% of the customers don't like not being able to have an assigned seat in advance. That the open seating thing was just had become a point where it just caused Chaos. more problems than it was worth. So they'll be going to a uh, ticketed program where you'll have an assigned seat and then you'll have the options for extra leg room and stuff like all their competitors are doing. When exactly they'll kick this into gear, uh, we'll see, but it's going to be happening. Uh, Further evidence that Netflix is very serious about getting into gaming. Uh, They have hired former Epic Games executive as their new president of games, hiring Alan Taskin from a company you might have heard of. Yeah, Epic Games uh, knows a thing or two about that. Wow. As, uh, As Netflix continues to expand in their interest of gaming. Uh, Google, uh, do you think he had to sit out a non-compete now that that rule was going to, remember, be challenged? That I don't know. Because that's a big one there. I don't know. If you scoop that dude up? This uh, new uh, streaming device coming out from Google, uh, images of the Google TV streamer, which looks more like a traditional set-top box, is set to uh, be the successor to the Chromecast dongles that Lots of people have become familiar with and use if you use Android slash Google uh, devices to stream television. Uh, this looks very different from those things that you would have plugged directly into the back of your set and that just hang down. Mm-hmm. More like a set-top box. Uh, don't have the specs on this thing yet. Just pictures leaked at this point. But uh, it's coming. The uh, successor to the Chromecast. Okay. Lyft President Kristen Sverchek is uh, leaving on August 20th. Why? Uh, apparently just deciding to leave. No uh, no issues or anything like that. She's just vacating her job as CEO at Lyft. There's got to be something more to that that we'll hear, that we'll hear about down the road because that's, that's too big of a job. I can tell you I saw the uh, golden parachute number here. Uh, How much? Uh, company 14. says we'll be entitled to severance benefits including a $650,000 cash payment. Oh, I figured it'd be more than that. So that's just that's just the the cash payments. Yeah. Uh, on other uh, ride share type news, Alphabet is going to invest five billion dollars into their self driving car unit, Waymo. Which, if you've been to you know L A, San Francisco, I think uh, Phoenix and Austin is getting this as well. These driverless ride share things that you just get into and go. There's no driver. Mm-hmm. I, Dude, I watch Black Mirror. I, I don't know uh, if I'm I'm into trying that out yet. I didn't watch Black Mirror, and I'm not into it. I just got I, those little unattended things that zoom around uh, Crane Drews Park got me on edge. Uh huh. So I, I don't know. I, I give it time is what I always say. Um, somebody just texted in, and it reminded me uh, AT and T. Remember their whole mess that we were talking about back in February yeah. or, that you mentioned. They gave like a five dollar credit. Remember, the credit was like yeah. next to yeah. nothing. Yeah. They, they don't care, man. They just don't care because the bottom line is not enough of us want to go through the hassle of dumping one service, whatever it might be, to grab another. To grab another because it's a pain in the ass, and they count on that. Mm-hmm. It's really the truth. And finally, we'll end on this. Elon Musk has again challenged Mark Zuckerberg to a fight. This happened yesterday. Musk was in D.C. and present for the uh, joint congressional uh, address from from Benjamin Netanyahu. He was uh, Netanyahu's guest. And while he was in D.C., he made the uh, comment that he would like to uh, uh, (laughs) fight Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg did respond with a, uh, a post saying, are we really going to do this again? 
That's a pretty good comeback. <laughs> kind of just saying, look, Come dude, on, this is man. just childish. Let's just move on from this. This ship has sailed. I Come t- on. tend to agree. Lynch and Taco. Download the iHeartRadio app.